Oh. Hi. Um, just a quick video, little update. This weekend was so much fun. It was the mud festival, and right now I'm pretty drained because yesterday was all day in the mud, dancing, singing. Yeah, it was really crazy. So, video coming very soon. And this morning we hitchhiked for half an hour drive. Then we took a train for three hours. Then we hung in the soul for a bit. And then we took a metro for like an hour or something. Then I just took a bus for three hours to get back to Dunghe from Seoul. So I've been traveling for like over seven hours today. I'm really tired. Plus on top of yesterday, I'm really tired. But I just wanted to say quickly that um, I feel really good. Like, I feel really, really happy with with where I am. <laughs> Being in Seoul today was really a chance to almost be tourists, um, almost be visitors to Korea in a sense and, and just uh, it was really fun. It was really interesting uh, being in the mall, and the mall is just seems so different. That area of Korea is just so crazy different than where I am here in uh, in Dongheng. Anyway, so I just want to say, um, yeah, it was a really fun weekend. And when I look back at what I've been doing lately, like the Mud Fest this weekend, um, I recently had a uh, had uh, David here from Australia. That was fun having him here and, and doing some different things with him. And then, of course, the festival in Congdon uh, recently, which, again, I know the video I got to do. Um, definitely feel kind of overwhelmed on the video front because I'm doing so many things. I'm having so much fun and I want to share it with everybody. And um, it, it's definitely a lot of fun making the videos, but uh, it does take quite a bit of time. So, anyway, I've been kind of bummed out lately, actually. I think bummed out is the best way to describe it, um, mainly about my dad. And just that, for those who don't know, he died in January 2006 of a heart attack. And, um, yeah, so just kind of bummed out that I'm, I'm not able to share any of what I'm doing with him. And uh, I know he'd really, really enjoy it. And so that's kind of how I've been feeling lately. It's been kind of a, kind of a downer. I mean, it comes and goes. Sometimes it's worse than others, but uh, it comes and goes. And... Um, yeah, which reminds me, reminds me I, uh, had my chain off, and I don't want this to be my, a video without my chain. Um, this is the chain my father gave me. Um, it's something I always wear, but I took it off this weekend because of the mud festival. And the last thing I wanted was to have this ripped off while playing around in the mud and have it lost. So I took it off. I never take it off, so... Yeah, anyway, so I've just been kind of bummed out about that, uh, bummed out about uh, him being gone, and um, it's pretty tough, you know, like we were really close. And sometimes I feel like I've come to terms with it, and other times it just, it, it, it feels like the worst feeling ever, and it just feels like, it's, 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 it's almost like a, a disbelief. And uh, being here almost, in, in some ways, it almost um, allows me to... That's better. That's better. I felt naked before. It almost allows me to kind of forget about that part of my life, sort of. But um, but I don't. You know, I have pictures of of all my family, of my my mom and my dad, as well as Jill and Cohen and my grandmother, um, on my kitchen table, like under the glass. And so every day I have breakfast, or when I eat, um, I eat with them. So you know, I never forget about anybody, but. Um, sometimes it, it, it almost tricks me into thinking that my dad's not actually dead, you know, that I could just pick up the phone and give him a call like I used to. But anyway, so I'm kind of bummed out um, about that. And, and so today, as I was driving back on the bus, which, by the way, was by far the fastest I've ever come from Seoul to Donghae, about two hours and 45 minutes. It's usually um, three and a half hours. So this bus was really fast, and it was a direct bus, didn't have to stop in Kangen, which is cool. Um, anyway, and it just kind of started, it just kind of hit me, you know, that, like, I'm really, I'm really having a lot of fun here, and I, I've met some great people here, um, some great friends, Aaron and Carissa, and, uh, just lots of different people that I've been, I've been spending a lot of time with, and I feel really great to have those people in my life, and, um, it's really nice, it's really nice to be able to share these experiences with them, and, uh, I know we'll really tre treasure those things, um, in the years to come, so 
Anyway, um, that's pretty much all I really want to say in this video. It's just that uh, really happy, <laughs> really happy with things. I know I've said that in other videos, and um, but I just really feel like I'm I'm really really living. You know, I'm really doing some fun living. I'm, I'm just I'm and I'm learning. I'm living and I'm learning. I'm learning so much here. On the train ride back, the last hour, a woman sat beside me uh, on the train ride into Seoul, and she speaks like perfect English. And we had a really great chat for about an hour. We talked about all kinds of things. And she's 65, and her son originally became a lawyer, only to then decide to become a doctor and um, live in New York. And ever since she was he was he was young, she um, was encouraging him, telling him go travel the world, see the world, live the world. And he's traveled 47 countries, she said now. Her da daughter is actually also a doctor. And just her mentality just was, was really, really cool, you know. And um, it kind of made me think of my mom, because my mom, hi mom, um, my mom really supports what I do. And, um, you know, she, I, I know she enjoys what I do as much as she would love me to be with her home in, uh, in, um, in Canada, in PEI. She knows that I, I, I really need to do what I'm doing now. So I feel like I'm learning so much about Korea from those experiences like with that woman uh, on the train and also even just in, in that, that mall today in Korea and then coming back home here to Donghae and seeing what life's like here and being able to hop in a taxi and in Korean, you know, tell them how to get to my apartment, you know, say hello, say, say goodbye, um, you know, tell them to stop here, like, to be able to say some of those few things in Korean, it's really basic, I, you know, I'm by no means a Korean speaker, but, um, but just these, those types of things, or, or the, or the bowing, or the, you know, giving and receiving with a couple hands, like, I feel like I've learned so much, and, um, it just, it makes me really happy with what I've been able to embrace since I've been here. I think I, I came to Korea with, with very little on the expectation side, and, um, I think that really set me up to really have a blast. Just everything, you know. So, anyway, I know I'm rambling. Some people like my rambling videos, some people don't. So, mm, for those who don't like it, you can cut it off. For those who do like it, cool, keep watching. Um, yeah, so, this weekend Mudfest, last weekend was hanging out in, uh, in Dung Hang here, chilling out. Um, Coming up is, uh, I've got a, a lot of friends coming in next weekend from around Korea, different friends, and uh, we're going to be going to Mansang again, the beach, and we're going to do my favorite hike again in Murong Valley with, uh, uh, up there to see my, my monk friend, Songbok, and then a weekend of relaxing, and then I'm off to Malaysia, so it really is like go, go, go. It feels like... Um, really been going 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 and uh, it's great you know it's it's really fun but it's tiring and um, yeah I guess that's it really I'm just rambling came home today I got a few brown leaves on my on my plants sorry guys sorry twins um, but I just gave them some new little nutri nutrient things so hopefully that'll help green them up again um yeah okay well that's it so coming soon will be the Wicked video from the Mudfest, that is coming really soon, I promise. There's actually probably going to be two videos because I have a lot of footage. That was so... <laughs> God, that was crazy. The uh, happenings in Seoul at the mall, that was just funny. And the restaurant, really funny times there. So that's coming really soon. And I still need to get on my video from the uh, the the Kangnan Festival. So, yeah, lots of crazy things going on. Just so much stuff. And, and I hope people are really enjoying watching these videos. Um, I, I really personally enjoy making them. It's it's a hobby. If nobody watches them, that's fine. You know, it'll it'll be for me down the road to watch again. But um, I love sharing Korea with everybody, and uh, I really hope people enjoy um, enjoy those things. So please, if you do like my videos, send send a random video to a friend to check out, because uh, I like nothing more than educating and sharing sharing life here. So go for it. Okay, Patrick's done rambling. Hmm. I'm now going to have a shower because I'm still muddied up, like my fingernails are mud. And, um, I'm going to chill out, I'm going to pour some wine, I'm going to relax, and yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe work on a video. <laughs> so, alright, well, bye everybody, um, thanks again for watching.